Hello fellow robots out there in internet land, I am Sobertron, and welcome to the next episode of Titan Craft Season 6 here on Tango Tech's Patreon server. And as always guys, if you are interested in joining me and this amazing community on our journey through this amazing game, all the information you need is down below in the description for Tango Tech's Patreon page. So guys, we're, we're starting things off at our base today. You know, we've done a lot, a decent amount of work in the area recently. You know, we built that little trading hall back there, which I still think looks fantastic. And me and Cash, when we came came together for that one, it turned out amazing. Uh, and then right above my head there, you can barely see it. I added in a little bee farm up there in the episode before this one. But today, we are getting very, very close to Christmas. And that means Secret Santa. And it also means owls. Owls appearing at our base. So this thing uh, showed up here today. Um, well, at least it showed up when I logged in. And I haven't checked it out yet, but I have a feeling I know what this is. And it is. It's an invitation to Hogwarts. So people on the server are building Hogwarts. And they're doing, I think, a little Christmassy uh, festivities there. So let's see. Mis Mr. Silvertron, that's my father, guys. <laughs> um, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Please find enclosed a list of all necessary books and equipment. Term begins on tw December 24th. Yeah, that's right around the corner, guys. Uh, we await your owl no later than the 23rd. I don't know how to send them an owl. Sincerely, Mason Nicholas, Deputy Headmaster. So necessary items. Potion book, magical book, house robes. I don't have any robes, guys. And my wand. Uh, so let's see what else is in this. So there's my wand. Cool. Uh, it's not a boomstick, so I guess that'll have to suffice. That's a really cool pixel art of Gryffindor. Let's see what's this other thing. Hogwarts. That's I mean, some people on the server are so amazing. And then it looks like ah, uh, advanced potion book and then magical plants. So it looks like we have a uh, we got to go to school at some point during this episode today. Uh, but there's something else we need to do as well. Uh, it's about a week towards Christmas right now, and it's Secret Santa time. So I have my Secret Santa book. Uh, the way this worked was, uh, at the shopping district, right outside the volcano, there was this giant North Pole. I don't know what else to call it. And, hi, Pigman, how are you? Uh, you go inside, you place your wish list in there, it goes into a chest, and then mod magic happens and it disappears. Um, and, and then when you logged on the server today, uh, everybody who entered got a random book of somebody else's wish list. And I've taken a look at this already, guys, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let this person know it's me. It's going to be great. Uh, after the fact, not now, though. Uh, because I am probably the best person to get this person their wish. So, Eliza. Eliza's the person who I got. So, I, she doesn't want anything. She really doesn't want anything. What she absolutely does, though, is she creates these starter kits for other players, which are very similar to my arcs. And since I am so good at mass-producing those, I don't know how anyone else could have done this. So, we are going to make her a ton of... Bleh. We're going to make her a ton of these uh, starter kits that she has. So I'm going to go over to spawn, because that's where they're at, and I'm going to show you what they look like. Uh, and hi, Cash. Ah! Ow. <laughs> I'm going to go over to spawn and show you what these things look like, uh, so that way you have a better understanding of what I need to do to accomplish uh, this wish for Eliza. So we are inside the spawn volcano, and you can see the fake Christmas tree that has been put up with a couple of golden pressure plates. And we're going to be going there in a second, but for now i got to make sure I'm in the clear. So I'm going to take one of these and, and fly away really quickly so I can show you guys uh, what's in these new player starter kits. Uh, they're only meant for new players as soon as they join the server. Um, and this is nothing that... this is just Eliza being awesome and cool, and she just does this for new players. That way they can just get started on the server. So this is everything in there. So it's like an arc plus. So it's got a lot of basic stuff uh, to help these guys along their way. Uh, for the most part, though, a lot of the stuff is similar to our arcs with a few exceptions. So like the bow she gives them isn't as good. So we're going to make these identical to what she gives out. So you've got all the armor and things, uh, some sugarcane and gunpowder. That way they can make, get more rockets. Stack of emerald blocks. That's actually going to be probably the most difficult thing for me to do. Um, that's easy. That's pretty much free. Iron's pretty much free at this point. I have a ton of obsidian uh, for a future project that I've been gathering over time. Uh, everything else is relatively simple. Uh, so I am going to use that as an example. I already took some screenshots earlier before I started recording of everything in there. Uh, so... It shouldn't take me too long to build all this. Um, the one thing that is going to limit me is the fact that she puts soul speed on the new player boots. And I only have 18 of those books. Uh, so that's what we got to do. We're going to make 18 of these things. Uh, but this tree here. Oh, I just saw a light. There he is. 
out. <laughs> um, so that leads to our Christmas tree. And I think Light's actually decorating this right now. This is just way off in a random snow biome that nobody was using. Uh, so Light put the Christmas tree in. He didn't build it. I don't even think Light did this. I think Grifter did it. Let's be honest here. Um, but you can see presents are starting to appear very, very quickly. You can see even players working on them. I was smart enough to come here early and claimed a pretty decent spot uh, for Eliza's gift. And this this right here, right up top, it's not going to be Blackstone. I just, that was the only blocks I had on me at the time uh, I was doing this. Uh, so in the future, in this episode, we will be coming over here and hopefully our Secret Santa puts our gift down there somewhere. I didn't really ask for anything. I just kind of said surprise me because uh, most things I just kind of get for myself if I need them. So it's... I'm like one of those guys that's really hard to buy a gift for. You can ask my wife, because if I want something, I tend to just buy it myself. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh, we need to work on that gift. We need to get those boxes going for Eliza, so I'm going to head back to base and get cranking on those. So it's been a couple days since my last recording, and our little Christmas village has gotten quite crowded. Very, very crowded here. Um, and we have our resident... Uh, Cable Angel up top there. Uh, every season, Cable does our tree topper, um, and it's always fantastic. He's our resident naked man on the server, and it looks like somebody added a gold tooth to him, which is pretty fantastic. I love it. Um, but there's a bit of a change of plan. Um, I realize I want to make this gift a little bit difficult for Eliza to acquire, so we're going to do this in stages, and stage one is going to start here. Uh, but we're not going to use this box that I had anymore. I actually uh, let Cash have it because it's a pretty good spot. Uh, so she's up here right now changing it up, making it look kind of cool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build uh, like something like this, except it's going to be a teddy bear and not a snowman. Um, and it's going to go right up here on top of this hill. I've already flattened it out a bit. Uh, who's following me around? Zelda. Um, I flattened it out a bit. I've got all my materials here that I need, and we're going to do a couple of these in other locations on the server. And what I'm planning on doing is inside this teddy bear with a holding a package, uh, which you'll see in a moment, uh, I'm going to put a, a book, a compass, and a, uh, it's going to lead to a lodestone. And I'm going to give her a little hint on where the next package is. Uh, there's going to be, I think, four packages in total, including this one. So it's not going to be too long, not too difficult. But every package, she's going to get a little bit. And ultimately, it's going to end up giving her, you know, the amazing uh, boomstick that she so covets. Uh, so I'm going to sit here and build this thing. It shouldn't take me too long. I designed it in a creative world, so it should go up fairly quickly. Uh, I know Eliza is floating around here somewhere. I've seen her a little bit ago, so I want to make sure she's away from here. So I might, uh, get Irma and crew to distract her for a little bit. We'll see if we can get that to happen uh, so she doesn't stick around here while I'm building this thing.
So the gift I have made for Eliza is now complete, and there's been a lot of comments on how kind of cute it looks, and it's really awesome. Uh, but if you look around my screen right now, you can see there's a lot of other things that have popped up over here. It's been a couple days, and I wanted to wait till the last moment to show you guys all this, because there is a lot going on right now uh, in our little Christmas Sound Village area. Um, Tango came on the server uh, a couple days ago, and there was a mass... Christmas tree decorating party. Um, Cable got a mustache somehow on top of the tree. Uh, but really, it's everything else around here now that just looks so amazing and so impressive. Little Christmas village has been built. There's a couple people, I think maybe only one person working on a kind of snowy mountain. Uh, Drop is working on this really nice looking set of train tracks over here um, to include a nice long cool looking like toy train set and it looks really amazing uh and then it's even got its own little train station over here and it's just amazing to look at and there's somebody who's building this what i think is some kind of present factory thing i'm not 100 percent sure what it is over here uh but it came up in no time whatsoever our contribution to this area is this gingerbread house on the hill over here uh cash and i worked on the exterior um, and I think it turned out really nice, but really the inside that Pendo worked on just looks really just cute and amazing at the same time. Got a nice little dining areas down here and then a little bedroom up top. Uh, and it just small little details that Pendo does inside stuff just makes things look amazing. And we got our own little derpy Christmas tree inside here as well. Uh, but yeah, this whole place just came together amazingly. Uh, there's one more thing I want to show, and it's another thing Pendo worked on. Uh, over here, she has built this house, and she's given everybody on the server a present. And it's now Christmas Eve, and this place is just packed with shulker boxes. And inside of these shulker boxes is essentially, it's almost like an ark. So she's giving everybody a set of armor, some tools. It's really just Pendle. Pendle is just so amazing when she does stuff like this. And, like, literally every one of these shulker boxes in here is filled with that stuff. And she's even decorated up here, too, just because that's what Pendle does. She can't not do this. I think she's been working on this for a while. And there she is, just basking in the fireplace. <laughs> um, she's just really amazing. Um, I've also gone ahead and placed uh, some additional presents for Eliza. Eliza's going to go on a little trip that's going to take her multiple places. Uh, so inside our teddy bear over here, we've got a chest uh, with a compass and a book. And I think I put one starter kit in here. Let's see. Oh, no, I put three. So, um, she knows it's me. She's already figured out it's me. Uh, a certain somebody leaked who built the bear, so she was able to, to figure out it was me. Uh, but in here, it's going to have some clues to how she gets to uh, her first uh, additional chest, additional present. Hey, Twisted. Um, so, this one, you know, head to the end, look north, go to your 9 o'clock, essentially. Hopefully, she figures that out. I want to be online. Uh, when she starts opening these presents, so we'll see what happens. No twisting, no, no looking. Yeah, you better hide. <laughs> um, but for right now, we need to we need to head to Hogwarts. Um, Got to get all of our garb and things uh, to head over there because they're putting some events on today. I'm not sure 100% what's going on, but we're about to find out. Now, like every trip to Hogwarts for you, either book readers or movie lovers or both? Either? Doesn't matter. Uh, we start at platform nine and three quarters. Where is it? Nine and ten and three quarters, right in the middle. I, I love this idea they did with the train station here and the uh, nether portal being right there. Um, so when you arrive, you arrive at Hogsmeade, actually, and the train station and train that Cable Guy built. And I hate Cable because he's amazing. He's amazing at all things Minecraft, except Redstone. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> he's a really good builder. Um, but there's a lot of just hidden things, cool little Easter egg nods uh, from the books and movies in here. Uh, so you've got this little tavern here, and you can grab yourself a little container of butterbeer, which is really cool. Um, there's lots of little uh, shops and houses and things here. There's even a graveyard. Um, and there's some stuff outside the village itself to include, like, the lake and, you know, the Shrieking Shack is what I think that is over there. Um, and there are secrets and hidden things that I'm not going to show you guys because I don't think I found all of them yet. Um, but I also don't want to spoil it for anybody on the server uh, to do anything. One cool little detail, though, is I love these little banners up here, like, with the kind of house colors going on. I know Gryffindor's right there, and, you know, I'm a Gryffindor kind of guy. Um, but let me show you guys uh, the entrance into Hogwarts itself. 
Uh, so as you come out of the train, this first shop right here, look for the wart, warped blocks and prismarine and things, and you come to a little candy shop. And then down in the basement is kind of the first secret, but everybody knows about it now, and it's really the only way into Hogwarts. And that is behind this trap door, there is a little button, push it, and down you go. Yeah, I don't want to get my head chopped off there. Come down into this little secret passageway, and uh, get stuck in a cob web. Thank you. Um, another little button, and the wall opens up, and you are into the main hallway down into Hogwarts. Uh, so when we first get in here, we're actually kind of going into a back way into the Great Hall right now, which is really cool. I really, really like the way these guys did this, and they decorated it up nicely for Christmas time because I think this was their whole thing is they wanted this place open for Christmas just to show how impressive it all looked. And it it really, really does look amazing in here. I absolutely love it. Uh, I wish they could get the candles to float themselves without the little fence post that I know they wish it to, but sadly, there's no way to really do that. Uh, but in the end, I still love the effect that it gives. It's just super, super amazing to look at. Uh, from there, you'll come to a very recognizable area from Hogwarts, and that is these the kind of shifting stair rooms. And this is uh, leads to all of the house rooms and classrooms and things. Uh, so down here, right next to the Slytherin common room, we've got a little potion room inside here. Uh, like I said earlier, though, there are some secrets everywhere to include in there, and I'm not going to show all those off because that would be spoilers, and I don't like that. Uh, but I really love the Slytherin room. It looks so cool with the lake above us. Uh, the little fire, the black, and the green look really great in combination. And then every common room also has, you know, a little bedroom. Uh, players can come in here, claim a bed if they want, if they're a Slytherin member. Um, there's also slime that's spawned in here, which is funny. I just think that's a... Happy little accident, let's call it what it is. Uh, I saw one in there the other day. Uh, but from here, if you keep going up, uh, you will come to all the other common rooms and other classrooms and things. Uh, so if you keep going straight, you get the uh, Transfiguration classroom with Professor McGonagall, which I think that's really cool what they did there with that. Um, and then up here is the hospital wing, which they have a really nice little background thing. Because in the books, I think it was in a tower, uh, so you'd be able to see out and see everything. And they did this kind of pixel arty uh, kind of skyline out there, which I think turned out great. And there's even like a little sun up there. I didn't notice that till right now. Uh, there are a couple, there are a couple little secrets I will show you because this is one everyone finds inside this broom closet here. Uh, you'll see there's this water column, and you push the button, it'll switch out the block. And I believe this is like the room of requirements uh, because there's a little uh, mage battle going on, and. This is where Dumbledore's army trained, which is kind of cool. Little little nod to the movies and books, which I really like. Let's go back down. And close the door behind us, because we got to be nice. Uh, from here, uh, we go up to the Forbidden Floor is right here. Uh, now, I know that this is where uh, the builders of Hogwarts have their storage hidden. Um, and right now there's a wall behind this door. There is a way to open up that wall. I don't know what that way is. Um, so it's going to stay a mystery for you guys right now, sadly. I, I've i been through there before when the wall was down, but I have no idea how to open it back up. So if we keep going up here, uh, there are some little alcoves and things. There's a little nod to Harry's dad right there with the little wall with his team uh, from when he played Quidditch. Uh, so from here, we have the Gryffindor and Ravenclaw common rooms. Uh, so, of course, Gryffindor is behind the fat lady painting, and in this case, it's a fat pig painting. Uh, so you come to the common room, the little fireplace where Harry would talk to Sirius all the time, and then up into the bedrooms over here. Just little, little things I really like. I, I don't know if these trapdoors are supposed to be flipped or not. I keep seeing them differently, so we'll just leave them for now. And the Christmas textures are live and well, which is, which is great. I love just not knowing if something's a single chest or an ender chest. That's fantastic. Thank you, Mojang. Thank you. All the things. <laughs> so let's go back down, and because I want to show you guys Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw, they were able to use some special uh, things they acquired in the above to have the mods uh, replace some blocks with some unobtainable ones uh, from you know, the creative menu, which in this case, it's an end portal. Now, this isn't functional. You can fly in and out through here. Uh, but one really cool effect that I have yet to see, I've been told about it, is that because that is open to skylight, I could actually fly through that right now and I'll be outside. When it snows in this biome, the snow actually falls through the middle there. And I would really love to see it. So, no, please. 
pretty please? Fine, be that way. Whatever. Um, but you'll, you'll notice there is no um, bedrooms here. There are no bedrooms here. Uh, there are bedrooms for Ravenclaw, but I'm not going to show you how to get to them. I am not going to show you how to get to them. So we'll just we'll just leave that a as what it is. Um, and then there's one more class, or excuse me, common room, which is which way is it? I'm all kinds of lost now inside Hogwarts. Here it is, Hufflepuff. So over here we have the um, herbology classroom, which is really cool. Little kind of greenhouse effect, and then you come to Hufflepuff, and you see just all the nature in here as is associated with their uh, house. Little tree, little bedrooms, it's fantastic. It's a nice little thing that uh, a couple people on the server, this has been their primary pro project uh, since it went live ooh, three, four months ago now. So they've been working on this nonstop to get it this way. And a lot of this is underground, so lots of digging took place. Uh, but right now, guys, I waited a while to do this recording just for this. It is now officially Christmas morning. It is just past midnight on the morning of Christmas. Uh, so we can officially go open our secret Santa present. So I'm going to head back over to our Christmas village area, um, cover some things I neglected to cover last time, and I will meet you over there in a moment. I don't know how I didn't show you guys this earlier, but this is amazing. Uh, a functional carousel in Minecraft. Uh, Light Horizon made this. Uh, just a couple horses in uh, some minecarts on rails and... There's note blocks and music, and it's fantastic. I absolutely love this thing, and I can't believe I forgot to show it to you guys because it is really, really fun to do. I don't know. Yeah, I I'm, sometimes I just, you know, derp up. Uh, but let's open up our present. It is, you know, it is Christmas Day now. Um, our present is down there somewhere. It looks like a lot of people have opened up presents already. Where's my present? Where'd it go? There it is. This green and red one over here. So I haven't looked inside yet. I'm going to open it from the top. So let's see. Let's see what happens. So we got shulker boxes. Now, I I didn't really ask for anything. I said this surprised me because I, I, I'm like the hardest person to get stuff for, like in real life too. You can ask my wife. Trust me, it's true. Um, so I didn't really ask for anything specific. So I'll, I'll just be happy with what I get because this is free stuff and I'm fine with free stuff. <laughs> Everybody likes free stuff. Uh, terracotta and some wood, okay. I, you know, cobble. I don't really need that. I'll take the sand though. I'm still... Uh, Still clearing out that lava in the nether and glass. Like you can always use glass. It's always good. I don't need the lava buckets. So somebody somebody probably asked around and what I needed. And they're like, silver needs lava. Ooh, is that gravel? Yes, I'll take that. More sand? Absolutely. I will take that all day, every day. Ooh. Let's save that. Uh, more gravel? Yep, I will take that all day. More gravel? I will use that. Obs ooh, that's going to... Ooh. Cash was actually asking the other day that we didn't have much ice. Um, and it, not that we need it, uh, but when you need it, you don't have it. So that's, that's nice to see there. That's actually probably the happiest thing I'm, a, I, I, I've gotten so far. Dirt and, what was that? More gravel. Man, somebody really likes the gravel. Why? Why would you do that? Why, what? Can I open? No. So I guess we gotta open this up. Uh, some redstone bits. Okay. I will take those all the time. Especially the observers. They are a bit of a pain to craft, in my opinion. Uh, some more sand, some stone. I'm actually going to use that very soon. Sand, stone, and just a lot of literally random bits. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh gosh. My inventory. Ah, uh, this is not good. Let's, uh, let's put that chest back down. Let's grab that. Uh, let's just stick everything inside of this chest for right now, because I'm going to need to come back <laughs> with uh, another shulker. It looks like to... Ooh, let's grab the wool. I want to... They want us to keep these presents in place, and I understand that. You want to kind of take a snapshot in time of how this place looked. Uh, so I might have to, I might actually go back through recordings and see what was here and try to recreate that present. Because this place, it absolutely needs to be shown in the future in all of its glory. Because it's, it's way too fantastic to not look at all of that, especially the bunny slippers. The bunny slippers are amazing. <laughs> It's really cool. I just love this place. I love the holidays. It's like the best time of year. Um, just, it's fantastic. Oh, I didn't even know the TT logo was there. That's fantastic. Is that a cherry bomb? Uh, it might just be a normal ornament. <laughs> okay. My brain just went to explosions for some reason, and I think that'd be pretty cool if there was actually TNT hidden in there. Oh, the milk and cookies. I remember seeing that earlier. 
Oh, I love this place. It's so great. It makes me like. I hope you feel the happiness in my voice right now, uh, because it's just great. This place came together like literally a week ago. We had a blank tree, and now we have this amazing Christmas village that looks like it's still being built. Holy crap! Wow, it's just it's so fantastic. It's so amazing that a server can come together and do something like this. In, in literally hours, because the vast majority of this place went up in about five hours. And it, it's just one of those great things about playing on a, a community like Titancraft, uh, where we all just come together, you know, to accomplish a common goal. And yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. And I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the Christmas special of, uh, you know, my series. Uh, but until next time, you guys have a good one.